And for part three of this journey, we done did the cabbage, we done did the beets. Now I have the incredible edible egg. So we're gonna get through we're gonna get through this process and then we're gonna move to some other subjects. We're gonna talk about some of the health benefits of eggs. Um, Cause I know some of y'all don't, you know, y'all vegans and stuff like that. I like eggs. I like cheese. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and we are going to ferment some eggs. All right. Peace. I do when I do eat breakfast one of the things I love to eat is eggs so one of the thoughts I had is why not ferment some eggs hell you know ferment everything else let's go and ferment some eggs so I got me a dozen of eggs sitting up in here gotta replace the household eggs I'm gonna catch hell all right um but uh I got me some onions I got some garlic of course the black seed we got the oil Right, I'm gonna put a little cayenne on because I like cayenne on my eggs. I'm gonna throw a little bit of ginger in there as well. We got the thyme, so we're gonna set up the jar now. Boom, throw the thyme in there. We're gonna throw some onions up in there. Onions kind of red because you know they was interacting with the beets. All right, I'm gonna cut up. I'm going to put some whole garlic cloves in there. So, let me move this out the way. So y'all can see what I'm doing. One day we'll get us a bigger production spot, but until then we'll work with what we got, right? Huh? Sometimes you got to be rough with them. Right? That garlic, sometimes you need to let it know who the boss. Right now. Remember, one of the things I'm telling y'all is that one of the breakfast foods that I'm definitely moving towards is um, fermented foods. So y'all see me stacking up. So for the first couple of days after my fast, I'm going to have a lot of fermented foods. Because I'm not going to be, I'm not coming right off and going into the, uh, Intermittent fasting. I'm on. Um, I am going to get my grub on. Right. Got some different things I want to try. Like uh, I came up with this waffle called a cheese waffle that I'm going to be trying. Um, the the pizza project that I do with my kids. I, I came up with a with a super pizza. That I'm gonna be making. Yeah, it's gonna be full of cheese, but I'm gonna have to make sure I've been off my diet for a little while. Me and my kids, we're gonna make us a super pizza. Not just a, this is gonna be a Giamme pizza. Fear nothing but God pizza. You, can eat, you can't fear nothing but God if you're gonna eat this pizza, right? You know, because this is gonna be cheese galore, right? So, um, 
As y'all see, I'm cutting up the garlic. And I'm putting the whole garlic clove up in there. Now it's going to be crazy trying to find all these videos so that I can go back and edit them, right? You know, but I, I want to get it out the way because I don't know how my energy is going to be. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make sure that I'm giving you quality. So I said, let me do all these right now. You know what I'm saying? While I'm all hyped up. You know what I'm saying? Because I, to next week we doing just water. Um, and then we move into the uh, nothing. Three days. So I got the eggs. I'm going to crack them. Peel them. Now, some of y'all are blessed to have friends that have chickens, so you might have chickens yourself. So y'all probably already do this. But if not, family, I have never, I haven't tasted them. I'm telling you, man, this fermented food, I'm telling you, hell, you know. Uh, one of the things my wife does, she eats salted, salted fish, right? So they pre still preserve it over in Ghana with, with salt. You know what I'm saying? They're doing a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that we... We done lost contact with that we really need to get back in with. Go and get me that other egg, Clee, because I don't think she's going to eat that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brother, you just filming yourself pulling eggs. I know, I know. But you know, I'm just I'm just trying to make sure y'all see all the steps. Because sometimes it'd be kind of scary going off and doing some of this new stuff, right? Cleve was helping me on the side so we could get done a little bit faster. Still trying to work on keeping the shows under 30 minutes, but a couple of these shows are going to be longer. So we got... Um, Actually, I did a moja. Well, I did most of a moja, most of Kuchi Chakalia, and Ujima. So, this will probably be the first breakfast that we eat together, right? The eggs and the beets, right? And the cabbage, you know, we're gonna have a nice little, nice little breakfast. Probably take some to the job for, for lunch. One reason Cleve is helping because he wants to try some of these eggs when they come out. I think that's that's probably part of the reason he ain't slick. And I'm slick a slicker. All right, so I think all of them is peeled. All right, so now we got the eggs peeled and got them in the bowl, and we're gonna take them through the same process we took all the other stuff. I'm starting with the black seed oil. I mean a black seed. Throwing it in there. Alright. Throwing it on. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, hey. I don't want us to be fooled. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff is good, but we might be able to have access to some of this shit without with other people's interference because they be poisoning shit. Y'all see I do a lot of it's gonna be real spicy, so clearly you might want to stay away from these, right? I need to protect my, I need to protect my investment. Remember, salt them down, salt them down, family, salt them down. It's a lot of salt. Yeah, you got to The salt helps. The salt helps um, keep them, keep the wrong bacteria from taking them over and making them poisonous to us. Um, here goes some cumin. And all that on there, alright? Now, of course, I'm doing it in this so I could throw some of uh, my oil on there. 
African oil. We don't know how this is gonna take because we never, I never, I never, never uh, did it with it. I'm gonna throw a little coconut oil on there. We gonna roll them around. Smell, oh, shh. What you think about that smell, Clee? It smells delicious. It smells delicious. You ain't got to lie for the people. No, I ain't lying. To me, it smells like noodles. It smells like he's a Raymond noodle dude. I gotta get him up out of there. I'm working on it, family. I'm working on it. We gotta get our kids away from them Raymond noodles. all those eggs. The girl's gone. I might take the eggs. What you think? I don't even think they're going to remember. Alright, give me those last two eggs. Y'all ain't going to say nothing there, y'all. Crack them for me. Peel them and put them in there. So you part of the crime too. We want some more, I'll just boil them some more, but I got some, got some scary. Wash, wash it off, please. It formed a nice little, you see that little batter? We're gonna try to pour as much of that in in the jar as we can. I'm going to need a spoon, Clee. Put it right there, and I'm going to need a marker. Maybe I should have did it inside the jar. But this is my first time. We learn as we go, don't we? Think about the journey. We all exploring, right? Just be sure we all exploring. I got water up here. Got one. Hopefully, that'll be enough. Let me go to here. Just in case. So protect our investment. Egg is our investment. I think I ain't gonna have a problem with the egg sitting on the bottom. I only need a little bit more water. Last one was beat. Tighten it up right now. I just need to see if 
Got to break the fast for a second, family. That should do it. Now, one of the good things about this brine is after you get done with it, you can take shots of it or you can start another brew or you can take shots of it and it help clean your colon. Believe you me. Check on... Uh, I'm going to have a post probably on that tonight, a quick colon cleanse, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of stuff that our elders used to do that we look at and we kind of like, oh, right? But you know, when they used to drink some of this, some of this brine and stuff, it was really cleaning themselves out. Now, a lot of this stuff you don't have to know, you know what I'm saying, scientifically. It's just, I, I see my parents do it, I'm doing it. Sometimes, like with cravings for women that are pregnant, right? You know what I'm saying? Pregnant women aren't the only ones that get cravings. We all get cravings, right? So every now and then you need to start figuring out your cravings and see what it is. So that you can go get to the bottom of it and start healing yourself, family. Start healing yourself. That's all you know. Mm-hmm. All right, so, so now remember, the brine can be used on all of these. Can be take shots in this medicine, and it help clean out your colon, right? So I'm gonna find a nice little dark spot for these for them to sit, because my wife see I took a whole thing of eggs. She gonna be bugging. So I'm going you know, to unveil them, right? So these are going to sit for about seven days. Um, all of them are going to sit for about seven days. And we'll break the fast together, right? The first breakfast will be on next Moja. And uh, these will be there, right? But of course, you know, right after probably nightfall on the morning, right? <laughs> it's going down. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because I was thinking about doing the miso soup, but I might not have to do the miso soup because what I got, right? What we was able to make with the little ingredients we had, an old cabbage, some beets that just happened to be here, and some eggs, right? So, um... I'll be back to talk about the health benefits of eggs, and then we can talk about how this process is going to make the nutrients a little bit more bioavailable and probably get rid of some of the ill effects of some of the eggs. All right, peace. What's up, fam? <clears throat> Once again, what's up, fam? Uh, now, I know y'all just sat through that whole tutorial on making the egg and there's the final product right this is a few days in actually this is three days in so they're going to be good and I mean it's some eggs down there breaking apart I'm just like you know sitting up here like mmm mmm see that thine floating around in there all right, so now let's talk about some health benefits of the egg. Now, you know that any health benefits that any of these foods have, that cabbage that we made, those beets that we made, any of them that have any health benefits, fermenting helps bring it out. And what do we have here? Huh? What's that? I talked with y'all about that yesterday. You know, I had a... My son told me he wanted to learn how to make bread, so I had a, I had a brain for it. I said, what the hell? You gonna make bread? I have kombucha. Hmm. Which is, ooh. Yeah, yeah. When we wanna make bread, let's make bread. All right? So, um, I'm gonna feed this. And uh, you know, build it up. 
before we bake. So, making a sourdough. It's kind of cool. I think that's part of the issue. So, I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it somewhere where it could get warm. Alright. So, um, but like I said, when I get an idea, I move on it. So, you will be updated about the bread process, right? Alright, so here we go. Health benefits of the egg. Both the white and yolk of the egg are rich in nutrients, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. With the yolk also containing cholesterol, fat soluble vitamins, and essential fatty acids. Eggs are an important and versatile ingredient for cooking, as their particular chemical makeup is literally the glue of many important baking reactions. Since the domestication of the chicken, people have been enjoying and nourishing themselves with eggs as long as a long time symbol of fertility and rebirth. The egg has taken its place in religious as well as culinary history. In Christianity, the symbol of the decorated egg has become synonymous with Easter. There are a lot of different types of eggs available. The most commonly raised are chicken eggs, while more gourmet choices include duck, goose, and quail eggs. Nutritional Highlights um, I'm reading from Good Food. Eggs are a very good source of inexpensive high-quality protein. More than half the protein of an egg is found in egg white along with the vitamin B2 and lower amounts of fat and cholesterol than the yolk. The whites are rich, a rich source of selenium, vitamin D, B6, B12, and minerals such as zinc, iron, and copper. Egg yolk contains more calories and fat. They are the source of the cholesterol, fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, and lecithin. The compounds that enable emulsification in recipes such as hollandaise or mayonnaise. Some brand of eggs now contain omega-3 fatty acids. Depending on what the chickens have been fed, always check the box. Eggs are regarded as a complete source of protein as they contain all eight essential amino acids. The ones we cannot synthesize in our bodies and must obtain from diet. So, uh, one large egg contains 78 calories, 6.3 grams of protein, 5.3 grams of fat, 1.6 grams of saturated fat, and 212 milligrams of cholesterol. Did you know a study published in Pediatrics Magazine has suggested that giving young children just one egg a day for six months alongside a diet with reduced sugar, sweetened foods, May help, them, may help them achieve a healthy height and prevent stunning. Cholesterol questions. For years, eggs have been considered more of a health risk than a health food since they are high in cholesterol. It was recommended that people with high cholesterol levels avoid eggs, but it turns out that cholesterol content for which they have been vilified is much lower than it was 10 years ago. The reduction has been attributed to the changes in hen feed since the BSA crisis in 1990. British research shows that a medium egg contains about 100 milligrams of cholesterol, a third of the 300 milligrams recommended daily. Also, a saturated fat in the diet, not dietary, not dietary cholesterol that influences in blood cholesterol levels the most. If you are concerned about your cholesterol or are unsure whether it's safe for you to consume eggs, please consult your general practitioner. All right. Now, also, we gotta remember: for a long time, we were eating eggs. Now you got a choice of eggs that are free range and able to go out and eat or eat what they supposed to eat. Once again, we got man interfering, right? When we get man interfering, we get problems, right? So when men start messing with what chickens eat, just like with cows, you know what I'm saying? All these oats and shit, cows, they, they wasn't eating that shit in a while. They was eating grass. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with chickens. Chickens eat grass. Chicken eat bugs. Chicken likes like to move around. You know what I'm saying? So, when you feeding something, something unhealthy, then the, pro, then the produce of his womb is going to be unhealthy as well. Remember that. Right? That goes for humans too. When you feeding something unhealthy... The product of his womb is going to be unhealthy. Alright, um, 
So that's enough about eggs. So you saw the 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 beginning piece where we broke down the egg. I shared my bread with you. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna feed it and I'm gonna put it somewhere warmer so that I get so I get the effect that I need. I'm gonna warm up the oven a little bit and slide it in. Right? Not to cook it, just to warm it up. Alright, so this is Brother Hot Tim and I'll be getting with you tomorrow. Um, I think tomorrow we're supposed to work on the toothpaste. So and then after that we'll work on the the uh Whatever. We work on whatever's coming up, alright? We're supposed to talk about that sexual energy too, right? So yo, I'm out. I want to thank you. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site should be right about there.